Are you ready to explore the final frontier and live among the stars? What will life be like inside SpaceX's massive spacecraft? And how will its crew sustain themselves during the long journey through interplanetary space? Hey there, folks. Welcome to our channel. Here we explore the latest trends and developments in the tech industry, from cutting-edge technology to the latest science discoveries. In this video, we will take a glimpse of the inside of SpaceX's Starship. But before we move forward, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel and tap the notification bell so you won't miss any of our uploads. Let us delve into the topic of life within the SpaceX Starship. Historically, the general concept of a spaceship has predominantly revolved around crew capsules such as the Apollo, Soyuz, and Dragon, which are essentially small, pointed boxes attached to a rocket engine. These vessels, unfortunately, do not provide an optimal level of comfort for the occupants. Even the recently developed Orion spacecraft is cramped to the extent that standing up straight within the command module is not possible. The retired space shuttle has been the most substantial vehicle used for interstellar exploration to date, but it still needs to be more spacious and accommodating for its occupants. However, with the advent of the Starship, we are presented with a promising solution. The Starship is an enormous rocket with a diameter of 9 meters that Elon Musk has vowed will transport thousands of individuals on a six-month voyage from Earth to a colony on Mars. Although this is an extraordinary concept in theory, spending half a year in a metal box hurtling through the vast expanse of interplanetary space, even in a considerably larger metal box, can become a daunting prospect. Therefore, our expectations of the environment within Starship are quite high. The Starship Enterprise provided individual luxury condos for crew members to endure multi-year galactic journeys, while something more functional like the Millennium Falcon featured a makeshift collection of tubes and cabins suitable for a space pirate. Ideally, the SpaceX Starship would offer a middle ground, not the pinnacle of comfort, but rather sufficient space and amenities for a round trip to Mars. This leads us to the critical question of crew size. The answer holds significance for a few reasons. Firstly, each person requires a substantial amount of resources, such as food and water, to sustain their survival. Therefore, knowing the actual mass of a single crew member is crucial, considering our maximum load capacity of 100 metric tons for Starship. Secondly, mental health and well-being are significant factors during extended interplanetary missions. If too many individuals occupy limited personal space, it could lead to crew members experiencing panic and anxiety halfway to Mars. Conversely, too few individuals could result in interpersonal conflicts, possibly leading to violent crimes, making it the first of its kind to occur off Earth. Most experts agree that a crew of 10 is optimal for a Starship mission to Mars. Elon Musk has discussed the idea of sending 100 individuals at once, but all indications suggest that it would be an ill-advised decision. The present Starship model measures 50 meters in length and has a diameter of 9 meters, tapering to a point at the nose. Elon Musk reportedly demanded a more pointed nose after watching the Sasha Baron Cohen movie, The Dictator, resulting in a loss of some interior volume. Nevertheless, there is still ample space to work with. The lower section of the Starship will undoubtedly house rocket components, such as at least six Raptor engines, which may be upgraded to nine by the initial Mars mission, three sea-level engines for landing burn, and six vacuum engines to propel it out of low Earth orbit and toward the stars. Above that will be colossal propellant tanks essential for this purpose, with this section ending in a common dome. The cargo and cruise sections will occupy the space above. Approximately 17 meters of length will be available in the top section, making it reasonable to divide it into six vertical levels, depending on the height distribution across each level. Higher ceilings in the cargo bay and lower in the cruise section would be appropriate, allowing for approximately two and a half meters from floor to ceiling adequate for comfortable movement without the risk of frequent head injuries. Given the necessity for the Starship to make a vertical landing on Mars, it is crucial to maintain a low center of gravity. Thus, we anticipate that the first floor will be dedicated to the cargo bay, as it will contain resources and infrastructure necessary for survival, such as rovers, robots, and other essential items. Additionally, the lowest level will house the ship's life support systems, power generator, and ground elevator. As the Starship is notably tall, a lift system will be necessary for easy access. On the second level, we anticipate the storage of food and other critical supplies. 
Perhaps even a hydroponic garden could be implemented to grow small amounts of fresh vegetables like leafy greens. The third level would be an ideal location for gym and bathroom facilities. Physical fitness is crucial for long-duration stays in microgravity, and astronauts on the International Space Station are required to spend multiple hours per day exercising with a combination of cardio and resistance training. The strap-down treadmill and stationary bicycle are mainstays on the ISS, critical for cardiovascular health and maintaining the circulatory system. Weightlifting is equally important for maintaining muscle mass and bone density. Although barbells and free weights are not feasible in zero gravity, the ISS employs a resistance machine that enables crew members to perform squats and deadlifts with up to 600 pounds of resistance. Unfortunately, due to water scarcity and the lack of flow in zero gravity, there will be no post-workout showers. Astronauts on the ISS utilize wet towels and dry shampoo for hygiene purposes. Finally, there is the matter of the space toilet. SpaceX has been developing various iterations of its zero-gravity toilet design for the Dragon capsule, suggesting that they will have it well sorted before we embark on our Mars journey. Ascending to level 4, we arrive at the crew quarters. While it won't be extravagant, everyone should have a reasonably sized compartment considering the Starship's volume. It will likely resemble the capsule hotels in Japan, but with a more vertical orientation. Level 5 would be an ideal location for a common area. This is where the nose of the starship will start to significantly taper, but there will still be enough space for individuals to float around and relax in an open area, potentially with a large viewing window that wraps around the room. The top floor will likely be small due to the taper, with the methane header tank situated in the nose section. Therefore, reduced headroom is probable for this level, making it best suited for the command deck. It will be the place where everyone will secure themselves to a chair during launch and landing. While the ship will primarily fly autonomously, flight controls and similar features will likely still be present. A central column will connect each level, serving as a tube for easy travel between floors in zero gravity and featuring a ladder for use on Earth and Mars. We anticipate that plumbing and wiring will also be routed through the central column, which will provide a structural element to the core of the ship. Perhaps the most significant challenge for those aboard the Starship will be maintaining communication with the rest of humanity. While astronauts on the ISS are physically isolated in low Earth orbit, they are still connected to the Internet and can communicate with Earth in real time. However, as the Starship crew journeys deeper into interplanetary space, communication delays will grow longer and longer until two-way conversations with Earth become impossible. At the halfway point, messages will take approximately 10 minutes to reach either Earth or Mars, with another 10 minutes required for a response. This will undoubtedly be challenging to manage psychologically, particularly in a modern world where we are accustomed to being instantly connected to everyone all the time. Another key challenge facing Starship is how to maintain a continuous supply of electricity and air circulation. While solar energy seems like an obvious solution, the ISS's solar arrays are massive, making it impractical to deploy such an array after launching the Starship. One possibility is constructing a solar panel module in space that can be attached to the ship after refueling in orbit. However, as the ship moves farther away from the sun, solar panels become less effective at generating power. Batteries, such as Tesla's Powerwall, may be a more practical option, along with a smaller solar array. While the batteries can be recharged on Mars, they are heavy and will reduce the amount of usable cargo capacity, making colonizing Mars more challenging. Another promising solution is high hydrogen fuel cells, which convert hydrogen gas into electricity and produce water as a byproduct. As hydrogen is the lightest element in the universe, it provides an added benefit. While hydrogen fuel cells have been used to power cars, it is possible to scale them up for use on the Starship. As we conclude our exploration of life among the stars, inside SpaceX's Starship, we're left with a sense of awe and wonder at the possibilities of space exploration. From the challenges of designing a spacecraft that can sustain human life for months on end, to the innovative solutions for generating power and maintaining communication with Earth, SpaceX's Starship represents a bold new chapter in the history of space travel. As we continue to push the boundaries of what is possible, we look forward to seeing what new discoveries and achievements await us in the endless expanse of the universe. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay up to date with our latest content. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video.